Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm Ed Juenka, and if you've just joined us, you missed uh, the, uh, the contestants for the Prince and Princess. They were a riot. They had a really good time. And I'm here now with Miss Junior, BVI contestants. And uh, we're going to talk first with the reigning Miss BVI, Miss Junior BVI, uh, Tashina Penn. Welcome to the Spotlight. Good to see you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. This is you've been on Spotlight before. Yes. So you were on Spotlight last year. Yes. So this is a, this is the second year of Miss Junior BVI. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. You 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 know why that changed? Because it used to, used to be East End Long Look, right? Yes, it used to be Miss East End Long Look, but I know a lot of girls in the community wanted the opportunity to run for a pageant. So instead of keeping it as Miss East End Long Look, Miss Junior BVI more fit was more fit. To give our girls opportunities to run for the pageant. Okay, then it sounds more prestigious too, right? Yeah, yes, more prestigious, definitely. Okay, so you ran it almost on it. Yes, name. it is. Yeah, you, had a, <laughs> you, you had a good time. It was really good. Um, I accomplished a lot. I got the opportunity to actually give back not only to one of our main islands, but to our sister islands also, and interact with people from all, all over. So it was really good, really successful. Okay, so <clears throat> what are some of the specific things uh, you did? You didn't have, you don't have a platform. Form, no, we don't know that. Right? Mm -hmm. But um, during the, the course of the year, the, um, the rain, you did any specific things? Uh, did you have any f official capacity? Not necessarily. Um, I actually participated in the St. John and St. Thomas Festival Parade. Also got the opportunity to donate to the Yosfendi Primary and Secondary School and also give back to the Joycelyn S. Lane Richards Learning Center also. Okay. And what, did, uh, what, did, what, was your, what were your prizes? Uh. Prizes for my pageant was two thousand dollars, a cruise for two, laptop, tablet, phone service free for a year. CCC, thank you. <laughs> um, I think that is it. Yeah. Okay. So did I give out any scholarships? Any scholarship? No, no scholarships. No scholarships. Oh, okay. So I think it's a good idea, though. Yeah, so at, at least a, well, yes. <laughs> at least a, a scholarship at uh, HLSCC, HLS, right? Yes. Yeah, so maybe they'll, we get that on the agenda. Hopefully, yes. So you had a really, uh, had a really good time. Um, what did you learn? Anything like how this, what this experience taught you as uh, a reigning Miss Junior BVI? I'm a very shy person, so this this title has actually given me the opportunity to come out of my shell, also to be a role model. Because a lot of young girls was coming to me, I look up to you, I look up to you, so I can try to be the best person I can be for them. Also, I learned a lot, like about the BVI that I didn't know and I learned so much about the BVA and that helped me with being an ambassador, even going away to school and being here. So it was a really good experience. Okay. So you, you're, what are you doing now? You're in college? Yes, I'm in college. What school college is it called? I'm at Valencia College right now and then I'll be at... Where is that? In Orlando, Florida. Valencia, Orlando. Yes. And what are you studying? I'm doing nursing. Oh, that's yes. great. Uh, we need some nurses. I know. So when are you going to be done? I have two more years and then I'll definitely be back home. Okay, so you're definitely coming back. Yes. Okay. So you had, a, you had a good time. And what advice you give to the young ladies who are running this year? To have faith in your abilities, have confidence in yourself. Confidence is one of your superpowers. And with confidence, you will find internal happiness and success. So work hard for what you want. Thank well, you. That's good. <laughs> well, it's certainly a pleasure to see you again and to talk to you and hear about um, your successes and continued good luck and continue success with your studies and we're looking forward to your contribution to the BVI. Yes, thank you. Good. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we're going to come back with the four lovely contestants and we're going to have another conversation. We're going to have a conversation with them. Keep it locked right in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, and CCT Global Communications. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with the four lovely contestants for Ms. Junior BVI. Uh, we're going to have a, a good time. We've been having a good time all night. <laughs> if you just joined us, you missed a lot of fun. Of course, uh, you can catch on Spotlight on Demand. Make sure you like our Facebook page. But again, I'm Ed Juenka, and I'm here with our contestants. We're going to have them introduce themselves, starting with contestant number one, just uh, you know, you know the routine, yes, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, right ahead. 
Good evening, BVI. I am your contestant number one, Julissa Rodriguez Turnbull, vying for the prestigious title of Miss Junior British Virgin Islands. Come on out as my fellow contestants and I vie for this prestigious title at the Eileen L. Parsons, 7.30 p.m. on July 25th. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, contestant number two. Good evening to all. I am Rebecca Fred, your contestant number two, vying for the convenient title of Miss Junior British Virgin Islands 2015. It is my distinct pleasure to invite each and every one of you to witness my fellow contestants and I as we pay tribute to our past and toast to our future. History starts on July 25th, 7.30 p.m. at the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium. Don't read about it a few days after. Be there live to see my illustration hi highlighted with innovation, exquisiteness, and grace. See you there. Number three. A pleasant evening to all. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. I implore you to come out on July 25th at the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium, 7.30 p.m. shop, and witness I, Shamoya Madur, as well as my fellow, my fellow contestants and I, put on a show that you would not want to miss. Thank you. And contestant number four. Good evening to one and all. I am Kyra Rosetta Molinar, your 2015 Miss Junior British Virgin Islands contestant number four, inviting you to join my fellow contestants and I on July 25, 2015 at the Island L. Parsons Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. I'll see you there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess uh, you all look like you are ready to graduate up to Miss BVI. After the show, you'll see what happens. Yeah, most oh, definitely. Oh, okay. uh, what do you all think about uh, beauty pageants? Uh, you know, some people say that uh, beauty pageants really have no place in our cultural uh, festival, our emancipation celebration. Uh, some people say that beauty pageants are demeaning to women. What was, what's your thought? What's your thought on that contestant number one, Miss uh, uh, Julissa? I feel people take beauty pageants as being about, you know, you have to be beautiful at all times and judging you, but it's actually a lot more than that. You have to put in a lot of hard work to be in a pageant, and you also gain a lot of attributes, such as confidence, motivation, self-management, time management, you know, you gain a lot of public speaking tips, so I think it's a really good boost. Okay, cool. And what about you there, Miss Rebecca? Uh, well, number two. I think that it's very fun, mm -hmm. but it takes up a lot of time and it teaches you time management. Okay, and Miss Shamoya Maduro, contestant number three. Good evening once again. Beauty pageants is not, like Julissa said, is not all about what's on the outside. Beauty comes from within, so having a beauty pageant is testing on what you have in your personality and what you can bring forward for the British Virgin Islands. Yes, Thank indeed. <laughs> Contestant number four, Miss Molina. I think that beauty pageants help young ladies to push themselves as well as I think that it's a good thing for the British Virgin Islands to have beauty pageants so that, that the BVI can choose the ambassador that they want to represent their country. So I think it's a good idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what's the, what, what can we expect from, uh, from the show as, uh, the, the, as, as, our, as our audience? Um, segments. What 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 uh, what's going to be happening at the at the show? Okay. That's exciting. Well, the segments include introduction, black and white, swimwear, talent, evening wear, and question and answer. <laughs> introduction, black and white. What that means? Black. And black and white is a creative wear. Any black and white that you come up with, it can be anything. And that that's going to be uh, at, at the introduction. You'll be wearing black and white. No, no, that no that's a separate. That's, that's, that's another segment. segment. <laughs> okay, you said that like in one no, breath. No, no, no. <laughs> then black and white swimwear, then black and white affair. Okay. Then talent, then evening wear, and, and then question, question and answer. answer. Yes. So no swimsuit competition. There yes, is one yes, way. Yes. Oh, swim, okay. I, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's go with this. The introduction, introduction. Black and white. Swimwear. Swimwear. Black, black and white. white talent. Evening wear. And question and answer. Okay. So what what what's your talent? What ta talent y'all have? We can't tell you that. We'll have to come to the show and see. <laughs> I can't get I can't get away with that. I try that every year. No, you can't. 
and I can't and I can't get away with, with that. No, you can't. Okay. And is there, you know, if there's gonna be any entertainment, any, what's, any, any, any attraction, or y'all got so much to do that um, you don't need entertainment? Well, I think there will there be will entertainment. Yeah, there will be in between, in between the segments so we can get ready. Okay. Yes. And did they tell you about your prizes yet? What mm. you're gonna win? Mm. Well, mm. she, well, she, yeah. well, she, well, she, that's what well, that she got. But I was wondering if they changed. For Miss Popularity, we know that for CCT, we're winning a phone and a service plan for a yeah. year. Okay. And then there's the popularity tickets where whoever wins gets half of the money because we have to sell popularity okay. tickets. Yeah. Yeah. So no scholarships, no scholarships no. yet? Mm. No. Oh, okay. And, well, I, 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 lost, that, I lost that thought and I'll come back. That's one of my senior mm. moments. But what, what, why are you all running? Um, well, what? what Pump you, what prompt you or motivate you to want to uh, contest with Ms. Junior mm. uh, BBI? Let's start with you. Okay, uh, well, four. I ran for it because I wanted to experience what it is to feel like to be in a pageant as well as I wanted to get the experience as becoming a better person, a better me. I wanted to gain um, public speaking skills as well as to be looked upon by young people, especially young girls and just to influence others to become, you know, confident enough to do something like this. Okay. Yeah. Contestant number three, Miss Maduro. Okay, the reason why I ran for Miss Junior British Virgin Islands is because I ran for Miss Teen BBI in 2012 and I had such a fantastic time. I just so wanted to get back on the stage again and I found this to be my next opportunity to do so. Okay. So you, you, you climb in the pageant ladder. <laughs> you can say that, yes. You can say that. Stepping stone to Miss BBI. Stepping stone to Miss BBI. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> and what about you, contestant number two, Miss well, uh, Rebecca? I did it because it was always my dream to go in a show. So I finally got it. Finally got to do one. So I didn't hesitate. I did it. So it's like a stepping stone for me to do Miss Reform. Okay, you sit in high school. Yes, I'm still in high school. <laughs> still in high school. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're going to do Miss Fifth Farm and yes. then you're, you're going to keep graduating? Keep going. You, you, you're climbing the pageant ladder yes. as well. <laughs> okay, and Miss Julissa? Yes, sir. This is your first pageant? This is my first pageant. <laughs> um, it actually has been a long time passion of mine. I wanted to do it in Fifth Farm. I didn't get a chance to. <laughs> but I saw the ad online and I got so excited. I immediately text my mom. I was like, Mom, I'm going to run for a show. She didn't believe me. She was like, you're crazy. I was like, no, I'm going to run for this show. And she was like, okay. So it has been a long time passion of mine. And like I said, I think beauty pageants are a great opportunity to gain many attributes such as public speaking, time management, all of that good stuff. <laughs> okay. What, um, what, what, what's, what's your leisure activities like? I actually like to paint. Paint. I am an artist. I have my own little business. I have, so I like to paint. I like to. Um, I like to read. I like to go to the beach. You have your own business. What kind of business? I do. Is that? I have my own painting business. You I do portraits what? for people. Oh yeah, you have a little studio in your house. Yes, I do. I have a business card and a whole business page. <laughs> really? Yes, I so do. You have a a, a, a website, a yes, web page. Yes, I have an Instagram account and a Facebook account. So you want to give it out? I'll oh give you a, my give gosh! You, a sure. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can publicity? find me on Facebook at Ernie and Lana. I don't think you guys are going to find that, but Ernie and Lana, so you guys can type in Julissa Rodriguez Turnbull at Facebook.com. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's cool. And uh, what you going to do, what, well, let me go to you. <laughs> you know, um, what, what kind of leisure activities do you, like, you, you have? Well, I cook and I bake. Yo, yeah, that's your favorite, those are your My favorite, favorite things? I always <laughs> baking, always. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so you in high? You you, you you do baking in high school, or that's just something you pick up from your mom? Something I pick up from my grandmother. Really? Yes. Okay. And you uh, you what kind of what kind of things you bake? Cupcakes. Um, I do cakes for like really for people at home, like banana cakes and those kind of stuff. And I do cupcakes and I sell them at my aunt. Hairdresser, salon. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Y'all are entrepreneurial. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, uh, Shamoy, contestant number three? In my leisure time, I like helping people. Like I really like to help people. And being a part of the Rotaract Club of Tortola, I am very successful in getting that done. Okay, so you... Um, you go around uh, painting houses and, <laughs> yeah, and, cleaning, and cleaning up garbage and, yes, we and, do. and all that kind of stuff. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. And what about you, Kira? Molina? Um, I love to read. That's my thing. I love to read interesting books. Oh. Any types of books, I can read. Yes. So um, how often do you get to read? Are you reading now? Are you reading any books now? I am actually. But you don't um, want to tell me. It's no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you say you say you read a romance novel. You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. But yeah, I like to read. That's my thing, and it helps me with my schoolwork as well. And how how does it help you with your schoolwork? When I have to write long essays for English and history, it helps me with my vocabulary. It helps me to get the knowledge that I need. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool. Okay. All right. If you if you if you win, um, if you become Miss Miss Junior BVI, what uh, what what you gonna do with that title? Well, I would give back to my community by visiting the different homes, the nursing homes, mm -hmm. the the elderly home, the rainbow home, and have seminars with young ladies discussing inner beauty as well as motivating them and speaking to them about bullying because I know some of them get bullied because they're not as pretty as they think or they're not as pretty to people but I would just speak to them and encourage them. Okay, what about you, Miss um, Shamoya, contestant number three? Shamoya, Shamoya? <laughs> Shamoya, yes, you got it correct. <laughs> yeah. If I become the next Miss Junior British Virgin Islands, I, Junior British Virgin Islands, I think I said that right, mm -hmm. I will continue doing what I'm currently doing in the BVI, I continue helping the community, um, being an ambassador on my, with the BVI Elite Skydance, I'll just continue progressing. And uh, you, you probably, with your rotor act? Rotor actor, yes. So you're gonna go to um, Rotary, Rotary eventually when eventually. I get when I get old enough. You'll get to yes. Rotary, and you'll continue your traditional service. Yes, I will. Okay, and what about you here, yeah, Miss um, <laughs> Miss Rebecca? Well, I will get back to my country in a good way. I will help those at the Rainbow Home. I will help children that doesn't have a home or a family, and let them believe that it's not time to give up. That somebody out there cares. Okay, cool. And you missed uh, contestant number one, Ms. Yeah. Julissa? I believe that the children are our future, so I believe that placing focus on the youths is very important as Miss Junior BVI. Not only our females, but our males as well, so I believe I would go to the schools and educate them about self-love because I think we suffer from a lot of self-love issues in this community that a lot of people don't realize. We have problems with confidence issues and I think that it's very important to educate the youths about loving themselves, knowing what love is, because a lot of people don't know what it is. Also, I would like to put together a program for the females because I feel a lot of females don't have someone on their level to speak with. Sure, there's counselors, but the counselors are not the same age group as them, and I think that's very important to have someone you can talk to and relate to on the same age group. Okay. What, um, what y'all going to do when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> what you, what, uh, what you, what you want um, to do? I actually want to be a veterinary technician. Now that's interesting. Yes, I do. Uh, um, why? I mean, that's uh, animal husbandry, dealing with animals yes, and is. so on. Um, yeah, why? That's an interesting. I've always loved animals from since I was a child, so no one can't take that passion from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how are you going to apply um, veterinary science to the BVI? Great question. Um, a lot of people don't think it's necessary, and I know that. That's not true. I think a lot of people are getting more attached to their pets than taking care of them. So I think it would become more necessary later on in the year. What about um, in agricultural livestock? How, how yes, we do need veterinarians in agriculture, <laughs> especially. I know they're looking for some right now. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. And what about you, Miss 
Uh, contestant number two. Well, I want to become an entrepreneur. I'm studying very hard to do that. And to open my own non-profitable organization. You're going to become an entrepreneur. Yes. Uh, so you're going to be a businesswoman. Yes. Um, and you're also going to have a, a non-profit organization. Yep. But your business is going to be a profitable organization. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And hey, what kind of business is that going to be? Don't know as yet. You don't know as yet. No. You just, okay. So you, are you go, you're going to go to college and yes, study? and study, get my bachelor's, get my degree. In uh, business administration? Yes. Okay, cool. And contestant number three, Ms. Uh, Shamoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I grow, well, kind of partially grow, but I would like to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, partially grown. Yes, you can say that yeah. much. Um, human resource manager, mm -hmm. because like I said, I help people a lot. And I grew up in so many different activities. And I know the important, like, say for example, in a dance group, there's, some, there's someone who may learn, learn faster than the next. And I know the importance of taking time and training someone. So it's like all about grooming someone for the job. And I would like to groom people for their dream jobs. Okay, cool. And Ms. Melinda, contestant number four, Kyra. Kyra. Well, I want to be an educator, but I want to specialize in special education. Okay, what is special education? Well, helping children with disabilities. Okay, yeah. so the, the differently able children. Yes. yes, and I was motivated when I visited the autism center with my class. We had to take a field trip with Mrs. Wheatley, and when I saw those children, they were so friendly and they were so helpful. They were so excited to show me what they were doing, but I felt bad for them because some of them couldn't hear, some of them can't speak, but they're so excited and it's so nice to you. So it's like you want to help them. It pushes you to help them, to help those children. So oh. I was motivated. That's <laughs> okay. cool. Um, <clears throat> let me see Rebecca. Who is me. That's you. That's you. <laughs> you like, yeah. You you tell me you like to bake, yes. and you also talk in your bio about being um, a baker. You can open up a cupcakery. Yes. So this, this, how how was that come? You have you started that by? Yes, some? I've started by. Sometimes I set up my own table at the roadside, right below <laughs> my grandmother's house. Really? Set up right there, do a water sale, do a bake sale, or I go to my, my aunt salon and I sell. <laughs> People love my cupcakes. Like. Oh, okay, cool. One of the things that uh, interests me about that is that, you know, you, you said that you, you like to, you like pageants. Yes. And you like to model and yes, you I like to do. dance and so on. I do. And, and and I always ask this question because it, it all, it's um, it's intri it's an intriguing um, scenario to me that persons don't folk uh, don't think they can make a living doing what they love, mm -hmm. you know. And you you say you, you you like to dance, but you can go into business yes. to do something else. You, you you don't feel that you're good enough to be a a, a professional dancer and make lots of money. And uh, uh, being an actress, a uh, model. No. No. So you want something safer. <laughs> yes. But I love to dance. I, I always dance at home. <laughs> I dance in festival activities. I dance for schools. I dance for church. I, I dance. <laughs> but uh, you don't like it as much as baking cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> baking cupcakes is the best. <laughs> Julissa, you like to write? I do. I write poetry in my spare time, spoken words. Really? I do. You got a short poem? Uh, don't put me on the spot, please. <laughs> no? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a little, little, a little bonus, a little one thing. Maybe sometime later. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, yeah, have you written any stories? I actually love to write stories. That was my favorite subject in high school. I can't wait to do it in college. That my favorite thing to okay. do. So, but you have, so you have some stories of your own? Yes, that I have some stories at home. Okay. Now, Miss, uh, what kind of stories, what kind of stories do you write? Narrative stories. 
descriptive. I love descriptive writing. You can give me a house or a picture to look at. I can write five paragraphs on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you liked to write romance novels. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 you can write stuff that... Um, yeah, that I can read. read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Miss uh, Maduro, contestant number three. Yes. You are a member of Women of Power and High Potential. Past member. A past member. Yes, I sta actually started the club at HLSCC with the pa the first inductees of the club. Um, we started it in 2012 where I became the first president. Okay. Uh, I mean, how, how, how is that for you? Is that, uh, it gives you um, a feeling of uh, accomplishment as a, as a woman and as a female? Yes, it does because I help other I help other young girls and also visiting. We actually visited the Willow Whitley Primary School because it's a school that's really close to the college, so we can just catch the bus and go there. <laughs> um, it's such a fantastic opportunity because when we go to Willow Whitley Primary School to talk to the girls, they literally beg us to come back. They like, mm -hmm. I get a call from Miss Enid and say, "Well, Class Three wants you guys to come back." And, you know, I just hope to see WUPA continue in the college so other girls can have such experience that I did. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I, you know, I've been concerned about uh, all these things that, that our young ladies are getting into. Mm -hmm. And it's, not, it's very good, you know, it's very good. But I, I, I'm getting the, 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 I'm being concerned that the young, the young men are being left behind. <laughs> You know, I mean, what you, what you, what you all think about that? Actually, yeah. actually yeah. there was, they, they had some guys at the college who were thinking of getting up men of, men of power at the college, but I don't know if they're yeah. still continuing. But that, that would be a good thing for them, though, because they, they wouldn't be left behind. Yeah, so you're going to have them, you're going to have them start a men of um, power? We should have them next volunteer. Because, exactly. I, mean, I mean, who, you know, who, who, who are you going to, you know, I hear a lot of women talk about, oh, you know, we can't find a good man, you know, no, oh. men, <laughs> no men available. Okay. Well, oh. like, it's been out there in the open for a really long time, and the problem is that we do need the men to come out and volunteer to mentor the young males mm -hmm. in the yeah. community. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the men should take, the, uh, that's just like how you're taking leadership yeah. with yeah, the females, the, the men should take the leadership with the males. We can do all the administrative work <laughs> if you please, but we just need some men to come out and assist with mentoring the males. Okay, I hear, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Miss, um, where, let me see, where am I? Miss Malena, <laughs> Miss Malena, yeah. teach you're gonna be a teacher. What um what are your thoughts regarding our school our school system, uh, and particularly uh, in light of your desire to be uh, a special education teacher? Uh, do you think that we have um, the facilities uh, uh, in our school system to accommodate um, the, the, the 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 type of students that you, you think well, needs to I have the most Well, I think the Autism help. Center is actually doing a perfect job. Mm -hmm. The Eslin Helney School, they're taking care of the children very well. We have actually visited there and we got a chance to teach them, starting teach them like writing and reading to them. And for the Autism Center, we partaked in a lesson where the student was actually teaching us what they learned. So it was actually, they have the resources to get the students prepared for the world. Okay. They do have the resources. So right now you are, uh, what school are you in? I'm at HLSCC. I'm an education major. Okay. And where are you going after that? Florida State University. Okay. And where are you with um, somebody? At Florida International University. And what you study? That's in? where I'm going. Oh, you go I'm there. actually out of college now, mm. yes. Okay. I finished it, I finished HLSCC last year with a uh, major in Associates in Science, Computer Studies. Okay, so you're going, oh, you're going away to school? Yes. And what you going to study? Human Resources. Human Resources, and what about you? I'm at the LSL High School. You had you, 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 you <laughs> 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 And you're going to HLSCC, are you going to go straight, straight away, or what you gonna, what's your plan? I really 
you don't know. <laughs> really? Nope. You, are, you know you're going to be a businesswoman? Yes. But you, and you're definitely going to college. Are, yes. you, are, you going, are you going to come out and start doing your cupcakery? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're going to do that? I'm going to do my cupcakery, go to college at the HLSCC. And then I want to... You're going to have to go away to get the master's degree, yes. the master of business administration. I want to go to a college or university in England. Okay, you want to go to the UK. <laughs> And Ms. Lisa, what, what, what you? Yes, I'm currently a bio major at the H. Lavity Style Community College. After that, I plan to attend the University of Cambridge to get my Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine. Okay, yes. and then you're coming back to um, take care of the, uh, the I livestock. I will be back here, yes. Everybody plan to come back? Yes. Yes, yes. I yeah. plan to come back. Yeah, why? I mean, why not stay away and get more experience? Why? Because Maybe I is home. Exactly. As well, I can give back to your country. Exactly. Give back. That's Especially yeah. for special education, since that's the main, like, <laughs> they need it, teachers. So I would say that I would come back home. I would definitely come back home to give back to my community. Great. Well, you are certainly a, a group of <laughs> lovely, intelligent, uh, poised, confident young ladies and I'm sure it's going to be an interesting uh, program you all will tell me what uh, what your talents are <laughs> you have to come to the show yeah, and to, see and see the talents <laughs> all right so again we're gonna start with you uh, contestant number one Jalisa Rodriguez Turnbull and you're gonna go right around okay. and, and you're gonna look in that camera and you're gonna look in this camera yes. and you're gonna invite everybody down to the show uh, at about in the, in the time and all, all, all the things you have to, to offer to attract them to come. <laughs> okay. The road to success is not a straight road, but if you believe in yourself and have faith in your abilities, you can achieve greatness. It is my pleasure to invite each and every one to come out on July 25th, 7.30 p.m. at the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium. As my fellow contestants and yours truly, contestant number one, Julissa Rodriguez Turnbull, by for the prestigious title of Miss Junior, British Virgin Islands. Mark my words, this will truly be a show you surely wouldn't want to miss. Thank you. Contestant number two. Two. I am Rebecca Samantha Fred, your contestant number two, vying for the Miss Junior British Virgin Islands 2015 title. It is my distinct pleasure to invite each and every one of you to witness my fellow contestants and I as we pay tribute to our past and toast to our future. History will be made on Saturday, July 25th at the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium, 7.30 p.m. Don't read about it a few days later. Be there live to see my illustration highlighted with innovation, exquisiteness, and grace. See you there. Yes, contestant number three. Festival time is here again. I implore you to come out to the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium and witness my fellow, my fellow contestants and I signal the coming of festival. Join us as we pay tribute to the past, toast to the future, and celebrate 60 years of pageantry and splendor. I am your contestant number three, Shamoya Maduro. This is a show that you would not want to miss. Thank you. And Ms. Molina, contestant number four. Good evening once again. I am Kyra Rosetta Molinar, your 2015 Miss Junior British Virgin Islands contestant number four, inviting you to join my fellow contestants and I on July 25th, 2015 at the Island L. Parsons Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. sharp. Be prepared to be blown away as I bring to you the performance of a lifetime. Thank you. Well... Great. I mean, y'all are, <laughs> <laughs> are really, really uh, very poised, yes. very intelligent, beautiful. Y'all got all the qualities of a, a, a Miss BBI <laughs> and, and, and a queen. So we're certainly looking forward to a great show. And it has been my pleasure to have you on Spotlight. And Thank all you. The, and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's... Uh, our show for the night, of course, we had our uh, prince and princess, uh, look, our prince and princesses, they're all prince and princesses, princes and princesses, they, <laughs> they blew me away, I had a, lot, had a lot of fun with them, and of course, our lovely junior, junior 
Miss BVI Junior contestants uh, here with me tonight. Um, very bright young ladies. It's going to be a great show. We can tell from the way they articulate all their uh, their, their views and the things that they want to do and things that they are doing. Uh, certainly, it's worthwhile coming out and, and seeing both shows, Miss Pris Prince and Princess and Miss Junior BVI. So make sure you don't miss uh, the shows coming up this weekend. I think on a Saturday night and the other one is Sunday night. So Sunday afternoon. The spotlight will be switched off until August the 11th while we celebrate our glorious African past reflect on the horrors of the European transatlantic slave trade and plantation era, and rejoice for the hard-won freedom our ancestors passed on to us. So make sure you enjoy our emancipation celebration this year. Spotlight will continue to be seen Tuesdays at 8 p.m. here on JTV Channel 55 and rebroadcast on Sundays at 2.30 p.m. Watch Spotlight on Demand at jtvlive.net Make sure you like our Facebook page, participate in discussion of issues coming out of Spotlight, as well as you can suggest uh, topics and suggest uh, guests. I'm Edrenka reminding you that when the Spotlight is on, you see the facts. Peace and blessings. Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and CCT Global Communications.